Okay, here's a quick video just showing you how I've been testing the uh, cooling rack for leaks. I haven't got the square caps yet to go on the tops of the posts, so I've just duct taped these all up. And while it's blowing, they make some pretty funny squeaky noises, but uh, that's sort of my indicator for how much pressure we got going on in there. So what I've got here is a shop vac that's actually able to suck and blow so I've got the hose hooked up to the blow side and it's going to blow through the hose and it's hooked up to one side here can you see that and I've got the other side taped off along with all the tops of the posts so the idea anyway is to check the welds for uh, pinholes and stuff like that so we're going to turn the vacuum on Okay, we're up in the truck. You can see those are pretty tight. Just make sure that these are actually staying put and holding the air. Yeah, like that one's not. Yeah, that's a little better. Yeah, I hear one squealing over there. What that tells me is there's a lot of air pressure in here, which is good. It means it's holding the air pretty well. And it also tells me that duct tape is not a very good seal. But I'm just going around here checking for pinholes. you got to be careful. The, uh, the leaky duct tape can fool you on the top row. Oh, stay down there. And I'm not really finding anything, which is a good thing. You know, I may have to do some long, careful testing just to be absolutely sure, but sort of as a first pass, there's really not much going on here. So there you have it. Just tested the uh, system for leaks, and there's not very many if there's any at all. lower down. I could set this up to run on the vacuum side, but it wouldn't tell you much because it's a lot harder to feel a vacuum than it is to feel a blowing air leak. Alright, so there you have it.